Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. It's Sunday and we're going to have a nice Sunday dinner and I'm making fried chicken. So I took a whole chicken, I cut it up, and now I'm going to prepare it for frying. Let's get started. The first thing I did is I took the chicken, cut it up, and I have it in this bowl with buttermilk, salt, and pepper. And you want that at least an hour, and that just does magical things to your fried chicken. So that's just going to sit there while I get everything else prepared. Over here, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and it it's supposed to be a cup of cornstarch. This is non-GMO. It's not quite, but it'll be fine. I just want to blend those together a little. We need about a tablespoon of paprika. heaping tablespoon granulated garlic the blind dog is running into things I'm going to put about a tablespoon of onion powder I think I'll put Oh, kind of a heaping teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I like it to have flavor. And we're going to take some ground thyme. And about a teaspoon of that. Some salt, and this is pink salt. You want a fair amount. And fresh ground pepper. That's a little coarse. So I'm just going to blend this together. And then as soon as my chicken has been sitting in this buttermilk long enough, we're going to get this breaded and start to fry this up. All right, my oil is at 350 and I have lard here because, you know what, I like using lard. Now I'm going to take... the pieces of chicken out of the buttermilk. Put them into the flour mixture. Well coated. And we're going to put them in the oil. And you don't want to crowd the pan. You just want to make sure they all have room. And I cut the pieces of chicken breast into two because they are so big. Even on the smaller chickens, they're so crossbred to get that. But that's too big a piece, so I cut them into halves. So just cut them well and shake off any excess. Lay them carefully in the oil. 
And now I'm going to let this cook until they're golden brown and until they're done inside. So I'll bring you back in a little bit. So here we have my home cooked fried chicken. I still have a couple pieces cooking. Um, I don't like to rush this, so this is a kind of long process. But I think it, you get a much better fried chicken if you just let it go slow and cook. And then I put these in the oven on this rack. It just turns out so wonderful. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. God bless, and we will talk again soon. We have another fire in our valley, and this one started about 12 miles away, but it is creeping its way closer. So this is starting at the far end of our valley, and as I pan across, it's coming closer to us. It's still a distance away, and this was two nights ago. Last night, we couldn't see the flames because of the smoke was so thick, and it still is. So I just want to say a prayer for all the people affected, and thank you to our firefighters who have just done an amazing job because no structures have burned. That is just amazing. So as a thank you, yesterday I made two casseroles. One was a chicken casserole with hash browns on top, and the second was a chicken pot pie. And after a few miscommunications, we were able to deliver it to them to give them a good meal. So thank you so much to our firefighters. Thank you and God bless.